Here is a very beautiful, flexible question. You will understand why am I saying so. And here we are going to adopt a method which we call reverse calculations. And in this particular example, we will look into volume of rectangular prism. Now reverse calculation is a great technique to solve extremely difficult mathematical problem. You will realize how. It's a very effective technique. Question before us is, volume of a rectangular prism is 24 centimeter cube. Determine the possible dimensions of the prism. All possible that means. Do you understand? So it's kind of an open. We are not given length, width or height, but we are supposed to find all possible dimensions of a rectangular prism. Dimensions means length, width and height. Okay, so let me make one rectangular prism, right? So let's just, let's say this is our rectangular prism and I prefer to draw like this. So I always start from the top. The reason is very simple. You will understand just now. That side which we can't see should be dotted, right? So if I start from the base, it's very difficult to start with a dotted line, right? But it's easy to connect the dots. Do you see that? More or less. It looks like a rectangular prism, right? Now, let us say this is my length, this is width, and that is the height of this rectangular prism. Then what is the volume? Let's say volume V is equals to length times width times height. So you can put a dot in between, that also means times, or you can put crosses, that's fine. But what we are given here is that the volume is 24 centimeter cube. That is what we are given. And we need to find what length, width and height could be. That's very tricky. One thing is very obvious that the units are in centimeters. So we can write, well, all these are in centimeters. So we can write this in centimeters and this is also in centimeters. So we know that much at least. At times I've seen that we miss on that, right? Now, we have to look into what combination of length, width and height could give us 24 when they are multiplied. That is what the real question is. So, what I'll do for you is, I'll just make a small table. So, let me just draw these lines here and then say, well, I need to multiply three numbers and get 24. How can I get them? So that becomes the real question. So let us assume that length is 24 itself. If my length is 24, what could be width and height? Well, 24 times 1 is 24. So let's put 1 for each. If you multiply these three, you do get 24. And all these units are in centimeter. So it becomes 24 centimeter cube. I hope you like that trick right that's great so let's try with half of 24 for example we say 2 12 and 12 times 2 let's give 2 to width becomes 24 and let's keep 1 for the height that's great that's another combination how about 6 and this time 6 times 2 is 12 and let's make height as 2 that is also 24 you will realize that like this we can continue for such a long it will be a very long combination of numbers right so keep on adding numbers like that and figure out how many combinations can you provide me with so that i can have a rectangular prism with volume of 24 centimeter cube do you imagine yeah i could have written here like 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 2 is 24. So like that I can give so many combinations, right? And like this I can continue my list. Wow! I may land up with probably 10s, 20s, I don't know how many. Maybe hundreds of solutions like this. Who knows? There could be many solutions, right? So work it out and let's see who gets the maximum number of solutions for this problem. So you realize problems can have more than one solution, right? It's all up to us how we see or solve them. I hope you enjoy that.
Thank you and all the best.